Black people did it again. Black people did it again. Who is this girl on my screen right now? Please tell me. But somehow she goes viral for saying this. Everybody I know who's married right now, they're married to broke-ass niggas. Um, and they don't care. We don't give a fuck about your money. I couldn't care less about your fucking money, okay? So, everybody mad? For the obvious reason. I ain't even got to say it. But why do we get mad and make people like this famous? Hmm? Yeah, it's a bunch of us that don't like white people saying the N-word. I get it. I understand. I, 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 can, I can get it. But who gives a fuck about this girl right here? Who? Why? Why do y'all care? This random girl. It was random as hell. But now she come across y'all timeline, y'all news feeds, and trigger y'all. Y'all don't even see what's going on. Y'all don't even see. This girl is a plant, man. This girl's a plant, man. I, and I don't really, I, I, it don't bother me. This shit, like this don't bother me because I can understand where it's coming from. She even doubled down on what she said just to make y'all even more mad. So a recent video of mine seems to have um, upset members of a certain community. And it this um, all the backlash just really made me, you know, just really do a deep dive, like do a soul search. And after all that, I still couldn't find a care. Because she don't care about what none of us have to say about what she's saying. Simple as that. So why do you give a fuck so much about what she's saying? Ask yourself that. When you already know that there's people, if you are somebody who doesn't like white people um, who say the N-word, right? Not the hard E-R, just the A. Why, why do you get mad once they, once they show their faces? There's no point in getting mad. You know they're out there, right? So who cares? Who cares? Stop being triggered by stuff that they, they want you to be triggered by this stuff, y'all. Who, where did this girl come from? I'm going to show you something else. You see what she's saying? Thanks, black community, for helping to launch my new career in conservative media. You all played your role well like the puppets you are. She's talking about all of y'all who got mad at this. May God bless you in this war against all of Wakanda. She puts her heart. This is who y'all choose to even give clout and be mad about, be mad at. Why? She can't do nothing in your regular personal life to harm you, hurt you, affect you, nothing. But guess what you just did for her personal life? Blow her up. And now so many of y'all just going to keep seeing this random white girl who don't mean nothing. It don't mean Y'all, y'all just let social media use y'all for real as puppets, for real. I say this about my own people, but this goes for everybody of the world. The people who get mad at the black people who are mad at her for saying the N-word, the white people who get mad at her for saying it, and then y'all go back and forth with each other, y'all are playing the same part in it too. Y'all are all helping the cause, the distraction, the diversion. Y'all don't even, y'all don't need, it's like, it's crazy. This girl came out of nowhere, y'all. I promise she came out of nowhere. And people are calling her a, a, a They're saying she is a, a, a Psyop. Uh, I, I probably gotta bleep these words out because we 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 know I can't say certain things, but she's a <clears throat> one of them people's a, a psyop. Somebody just ain't here to that they got planted here. She getting a, a big old push, and it makes no sense why she's getting the push. And she literally came out of nowhere with this political. She she <laughs> just check this out. They they asked about her old tweet if she dated an Iranian Muslim. She says she didn't date one. For a fact, she did. For a fact, she did. Um, where is it? Hopefully they show it here. Or but but there's gonna be a guy in the video. <laughs> there was a tweet out there. Maybe it was it was fabricated, could have been. Yeah, it said you dated an Iranian guy or something like that. And so wait, so you basically hate Muslims. That's what that translated to me. 10%. Hey, hey, real quick, we got a uh cash app from paid off Schindler. He said, I get this nice but he's pouring don't shoot the messenger <laughs> <laughs> i don't i like tommy I okay too. he's gonna be a guest next week but here's what we have to do here's what we have to do right now tyler i want you to ask your question to lily again make sure make sure that she Third can hear the charm lily, can you hear tyler 
I can hear you now. Okay. Uh, Tyler, ask your question to Lily, and then we'll move on tonight. Okay, here we go. Third time's the charm, boys. Um, W. Lily for following me. That's pretty sick. Thank you. Um, My question is, I want to build off of what Richard Spencer was saying earlier about... Um, and, and, and he was kind of getting at like, um, you getting into this for a career, you obviously have like 70 K like three days into your viral fame. And I think let's think about that 70,000 and it's not, it's not like you can't blow up over overnight on social media, but it's for certain things for sure. Certain things that get you to blow up faster than anything else. And especially if you got a push from certain people, you're going <laughs> to. A lot of people on the distant right wing find it kind of sus because 99% of the e-girls who come into this space who want to have a career in right wing politics, they cause drama and they end up cucking and, you know, you get a lot of the Lauren Southern types who are not very good for the cause. Mm. So the question is, why do you want to pursue, why do you want to pursue this as a career um, as like an e-girl, a right-wing e-girl, instead of helping out behind the scenes and just being a distant that way, having a family and being a wife and going about things more quietly. Well, if I had the option to be a wife, then I would 100% be a wife. However, that is not an option at this point. So um, unless I <laughs> decide to start panhandling on the street, I have to make money somehow. So I've already pushed myself in this by alienating myself from basically the whole world. Everyone is after me, which is fine. That's cool. But why not go in this direction? A door's opened and I'm like, okay, I'd rather work in a space that I actually have a passion for. Like I actually care about this kind of stuff. And if people are interested in hearing, that's awesome. And if not, then I'll back away and do something else. That's okay. Typical, but like you do on that is typical grifter talk. Typical grifter talk. Somebody trying to to find a niche, just anything, something that they can cling, something that the social media can cling on to and and blow them up. Grifters. This girl got fired for that for that video, by the way. Um, whether you um, agree with it or not, it's just a little distasteful when you see like the I, like I I've watched plenty of her videos now. And just have looked at plenty of her tweets. And I just, you can tell the people who use the N-word in their regular talk. And this girl does not strike me as somebody who uses it in her regular talk. I have not seen it in any other talk other than that video. And the doubling down in the tweets of uh, a certain tweets that she's made since the video. So I haven't seen any talk like that. Before then, and then if you just put that with the, the the tweet that she put, like thank you, yeah, basically thanking y'all for being triggered by what she said because this is her first time. It had to be her first time saying this. Sadly, if it wasn't her uh, first time saying it online, sadly if it wasn't, she would have been blew up and and probably been famous now or whatever whatever the case may be, but. You just got to watch the signs. You just got to see what's going on out here. My people got to see what's going on out here. You got to see if it really, really what it is and stop being so triggered by stuff that the people you are voting for want you to be triggered by. Stan, that 99% of e-girls cause issues, right? Like you've seen that happen. Oh, yeah, I can understand that. You're a lying bitch. You have the tweet in the <laughs> nest. You dated a fucking Iranian. I'm going to leave on that note, but. Yo. Yo. That's a. She a thousand percent lied. Now ask yourself why she lied. If you don't think she lied, I, I, I have the tweet for you to see. There it is right here. She says, don't disagree till you've read it. I dated an Iranian and a former Muslim, and he will be the first person to tell you Islam is not a religion of peace. Shout out to the dude Sam Parker. This is who I was uh, I was on his page, and I was just looking through, and he pretty much got this girl mapped out for what she really is, and she's lying 
And you just got to ask yourself, why would she be lying about something like this? Probably a good time to clear the deck. What do you think, Dalton? What are, are you talking about? <laughs> I'm looking at a tweet right now that somebody sent me. It says, uh, from your old Lily Coleman account, it says, don't disagree till you've read it. I dated an Iranian and a former Muslim, and he will be the first person to tell you Islam is not a religion of peace. Sent March 26, 2019 from your Lily Coleman Well, account. W that guy, because he beat the shit out of her if you read in between the lines. They probably had sex. I yeah, and he beat the shit out of her. I don't know what that is. I don't. Look, know. Sam's always got the receipts. You know what it is. What do you mean? What's I, this whole old account? Is it not yours? And your tweet says, "Read the Quran as I have, and I'm sure you'll change your opinion." And then you say, Dude. "I dated an Iranian and a former Muslim." So when people are making the allegations that she is one of those people that's just been planted in here by said people that you just heard, that 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 community of people. It kind of gives a little credence to it, right? It kind of gives it a little bit more merit, right? Because why would you be lying about something like this? Just weird. Just weird. You got to look at it, though. But my, but my black people specifically, y'all won't do, y'all won't look this far in depth to figure out if you should be mad or not when you see some st stupid shit like this come across the screen. I don't. I'm looking at you. I'll put it up. I'll she put don't it remember. Up she don't remember. No, now she don't remember. I'll put it up in the I'm being honest about everything. So if you don't want to believe me, that's fine. But like, I may have sent that, but I genuinely do not um, remember it. And that's probably. She may have sent that, but she genuinely doesn't remember that. Do you remember dating I, this, this guy? You don't remember the tweet, but do you remember dating this guy? But you said you didn't, you didn't never date this guy. <laughs> but you may have tweeted this. Come on, man. I'm stupid, but I've never claimed to be smart. So I probably was it your account? about it. Can you confirm that was your account, at least? Your old account? That is you, right? I mean, it's I had made a bunch of old accounts and then delete, or <laughs> I didn't end up deleting. All right. That's a little <laughs> noncommittal. I mean, he come on. He confirmed earlier it's her account, 100%. She already <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not that. just it's up in the It's nest. probably my account. So did Where you date the Iranian? From? Did you date the Iranian or not? I have dated three people, and they have all been white people. So where would the tweet? Wow. <laughs> so was it, a, was it a white Iranian Muslim? No. Okay. Yeah, yeah, well, something's not adding up. There something's not adding up. <laughs> well, speaking of adding up, Lily, what's your body count? Be honest. You're on no holds board. Four. <laughs> Tyler? That's absolutely beside the point. I don't care about that, but I just wanted y'all to see the hypocrisy or the lie. I want y'all to see the lie and what she's saying because, yo, we got to stop being triggered by people like this, for real. Stop being triggered by people like this who don't really care about anything other than blowing up and getting and getting famous and and getting the, the kissing the ass of the people that 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 run everything. This 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 tweet right here is what really what I was looking for, and usually what I'm looking for when I see videos like that. This is the, this type of stuff I'm looking for, type of behavior I'm looking for, because nine times out of ten, you know, this is what they do to to monitor how we feel on a day to day basis. They have to keep you triggered. They have to keep you feeling like we are all against each other, every single body, every single person. When that's just not true. But if you stay on social media all day, if you stay on Twitter all day, if you just, and if you just, you know, this is what you engage with, your algorithm is going to let you believe that, make you believe that. But it's not true. Some of y'all need to get outside and touch grass. Touch grass. Thank you again for my black people tri getting triggered by a random white girl saying the N word. And now, She's blown up. Congratulations.